Hey guys, you must be thinking, what is in my hand? It's a box of a SIM card, right? Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you all must be doing good and welcome to our YouTube channel that is Unknown Gap. Today I have come up with the another interesting fact that is why the SIM card is cut from the one side. Now your mind must have clicked up why I have brought the SIM card box in my hand. Okay, so SIM cards are the small cards which contains a chip and they are removable and transferable from one to other mobile phones. In order to work a GSM phone, a SIM card must be placed inside it so you can access the local mobile network in the specific location for receiving calls or sending texts etc. Many of us know what SIM card is. Does any of you know what is the full form of SIM? Yes, thinking? Don't worry, I'll tell you. The full form is Subscriber's Identity Module telephone network. SIM card is the removable electronic chip which is used to identify the subscriber in the mobile telephonic network. SIM card is basically an electronic chip with an embedded microcontroller with the memory. You can see in the video. SIM card has 8 contacts embedded on it. See, the standard mini SIM card used in the mobile phone has the following dimensions. See, its height of 25 mm a width of 15 mm and a thickness of 0.76 mm. My picture is getting clear, right? Yeah. If you have never seen a SIM card, it basically looks like a tiny piece of plastic which is integrated with a small chip that holds a unique identification number, phone number and other data that links to the consumer. See, this is how the SIM card looks like. So, let's come back to our topic. The main reason for the cut mark on the corner of the SIM card is to avoid the misalignment of the contacts of the SIM card and mobile phone card holder pins. You can see in the picture. See how it has been cut from one side. Pin number one of the SIM card is to make the contact with the corresponding pin of the mobile phone. The cut marks serve as a guide for proper placement of card in mobile phones. As it is internationally accepted by ISO being followed by all the mobile phone manufacturers. International Organization for Standardization that is ISO and International Electrotechnical Commission are the agencies which standardize the SIM cards. The SIM cards are standardized as per ISO 7816-1 which describes the physical characteristics of the cards and ISO 7816 part 2 defines the dimensions and the location of the contact. By now, everyone might have come to know the reason behind the cut at the one corner of the SIM card. But now, I would take your little time more and together we'll grab some extra information about the SIM card. But before that, I want to give your clarity on the word mobile number which is completely wrong. Shocked? Everyone asks, what is your mobile? And tell me your mobile number. Did anyone think that, does the mobile have a number? No, the mobile has no number. The number what you share with your friends and family is the number of the SIM. So, from the next time, if anyone asks you, what's your mobile number, then tell that it's not the mobile number, instead it is a SIM number. All mobile phones need SIM cards. But they don't all need SIM cards of the same size. In fact, there are three different sizes in use, namely the standard, the micro and the nano size. Right? The standard mini SIM card is the oldest of them which is introduced way back in 1996. And it was once used in many handsets including the big names like iPhone 3GS and now it is very rarely used in the phones which is very basic and also in the old handsets. But smartphones made in the last 6 or 7 years almost certainly won't. A micro SIM card is the one size down from the standard card and has the following dimensions. See in the picture how does the micro SIM is been shown. A height is of 15 mm, a width of 12 mm and the thickness is of 0.76 mm. Having been introduced in 2003, this card also isn't widely in use anymore with the most handsets having moved on to near that is nano SIM card. Even my cell phone has a nano SIM card guys. See, nano SIM cards are the smallest of the bunch, you can see in the picture. Has height of 12.3 mm, width of 8.8 .8 mm and the thickness of 0.67 mm 
and these are the newest having met their debit in 2012. A subscriber identity module which is called as a SIM is a removable smart card from the mobile phones. SIM cards store the required information to identify the mobile device. It also contains the data required for the voice encryption to make listening zone calls almost impossible. Except when the wireless carrier itself is doing the eavesdropping. In this way, the customer ID and the personal number is tied to the SIM card and not to the certain mobile phone. This allows for a seamless interchange of the same SIM card between the GSM mobile phones. SIM cards also serve as a storage for the SMS messages and the user contacts. Current SIM cards can store up to 250 names for the number pairs and up to 50 SMS text messages. Am I right? Yeah. The SIM card cannot store multiple numbers per contact or other more complex information. This means that if you copy your contacts info from the phone memory to the SIM memory, contacts get broken up into as many entries as there are numbers for the each individual contact and discards the other information. Yeah, it's true. So, this is the reason behind why the SIM card is cut from the one side and also what are the different sizes of the SIM card. I hope you all must be clear with the information which we discussed today. However, if you have any query, any doubt regarding this, do comment in the comment box given below. Take care, stay safe and stay tuned with us for the more interesting videos.